Good morning. It is 7.29 a.m. We've been on the road for a wee bit and we are on our way to San Antonio from San Angelo to do a shoot with Alta Architecture. client for us just because they have some really great work to show off and they're awesome to work with like really casual they're happy to to invest in their media and they see the value in that so that makes it fun for us so this is one of our social media management projects or our bulk content creation projects so the big thing there is in one day we're gonna or, or two days in this case we're gonna be shooting a lot of content so it's just a whole lot of just everything so we gotta film a whole lot of interviews we need like a ton of b-roll we need a ton of drone footage and then we you know after the fact we figure out what to make a lot or what to make out of it um, so it's definitely like uh, an intense shoot just because we, we gotta make the most of our time and keep it going mm. um, but it's also fun because I mean, so far there's no lack of stories or information to share with Ulta. So it's yeah. not like we have to dig really hard to find good content. So I think a lot of people will enjoy, especially if they like architecture or just their city of San Antonio, yeah. uh, finding out more about some of these projects. Yes, it is rich yeah. story potential. Yeah, so we're looking forward to today. Hoping that it stays, the weather stays nice. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Mm, yes, some challenges. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing, yes. Yeah, because today's mostly interviews and tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we're shooting buildings, hopefully. But there's a lot of rain in the forecast for tomorrow, so we'll see how it goes. Fun. Lots of variables getting a good shoot. Sean, how do you feel about <laughs> the upcoming project? I feel great. Um, I, I'm looking forward to getting more employees in front of the camera because I think all of the interviews that we got last time were great and people had lots of cool stories to tell about their projects. Am I looking at this camera or am I just looking ahead to you the future? You can just do you. All right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> No rules. But, yeah, I'm, and I'm also looking forward to getting more of their building projects, because uh, we only got to get a few of those last time, but uh, this time we'll, we'll, have, uh, we'll have longer to get more buildings and make more content out of it. Yes, they have beautiful buildings. Um, Sean, can you tell me a little bit about the, like, gear situation for this trip? What did we bring? why yeah so we're using Sony cameras we brought our FX3 and our a7 IV um, we have a 24 to 70 and a 70 to 200 and a wide angle lens so we have pretty much all of our bases covered um, for whatever type of situation that we can find ourselves in um, then we're also using the DJI Mavic 3 for all of our drone stuff and then a bunch of lighting bunch of lighting that's what actually makes it look good yeah. so yeah we're using our aperture 600c and um Amaran. i forget what it's called but it's a tube, tube light, light yeah so and a couple of godox lots of lighting i'm sure we'll have a chance to show you so later on yeah
our kind friends at Alta brought us breakfast tacos, so that's the happiest fest. We have our set all set up. I'm currently sitting in the hot spot. So we'll start interviews in just a bit. This client, Alta's community, is so beautiful. I loved hearing the interviews. Some of my favorite parts was that we got to learn about what projects that they are highlighting and trying to specialize in more lately. And one of those was multi-family projects, such as apartment complexes. And then another one is K through 12. So elementaries, middle school, high schools. And it was so interesting to hear so many little details that you would not think that you would have to work around as an architect to make those types of living situations and educational settings work. Also, this client, they're so proud that they're such a multi-ethnic staff. They have so many different countries represented. Several of their employees are from other countries and were practicing architects in those countries before they moved here and so they are able to really represent the diversity of San Antonio well because they don't make assumptions about culture here. They're just very aware of some of those challenges or some of those opportunities to embrace cultural diversity in the city so it was so sweet getting to hear that diversity of their team. Sean and Kelsey did great today <laughs> while I sat around and observed. False. Did great. It's false. Driving around San Antonio right now getting shots of different locations. Uh, Sean and Kelsey are getting handheld shots and then I'm flying drone. Um, and it's going good. We have good sunlight today. We don't know if it's going to rain or not tomorrow morning. So we're trying to get as much done as we can today just in case. <clears throat> Getting our 12 hour day in. When do we leave today? Five? Yes. 13 hour day. Yes. Nice. That's normal around here. Yeah. Is there anything of note today in the shoot that mm. worked really well? Uh, we, we shot how many interviews today? Like six? Yeah. Yeah. All in different locations. Mm -hmm. Some inside, some outside. Some in tight spaces. Like we had probably a different lighting setup and different audio setup like at every single one. So I'm really curious to see how these look. In general, none of these interviews I think will be back to back. I think a lot of these are independent from each other for the most part, but I don't know. Let's see. I liked how it all looked. Yeah, everything looked really good. Yeah. Especially the outside stuff. I'm glad we went out there and got all that courtyard, like nice overcast day to shoot outside. So I thought Kelsey did a great job Kelsey asking rocked questions it. Oh, wow. over and over, like making <laughs> yes. sure that we got the right <laughs> snippet and not being afraid to make someone do it like five times yep. and not making him feel like an idiot for doing it five times. So that was great. Yay. Yeah. The secret sauce. That's right. Like, <laughs> I'm done asking questions forever. <laughs> well, For you know, we also just got lucky because it really is such a comfort level thing. Like, being on camera and trying to, like, cohesively and concisely communicate your thoughts is just such a skill set. I it's think hard. that a lot of people just don't ever practice and or don't yeah. have it. And the last couple of people we had were basically like, we did not even need to prompt them with questions because they were just so natural at coming up with stuff to talk about themselves. So yeah. that was <laughs> fortunate. Yeah. Yes. No, it's good. So we're 
we're at an apartment complex right now. The Alta designed <laughs> getting some footage. And Matt has just said that he could write a book on flying the drone inconspicuously. It turns out all these kids are just chasing it. <laughs> you can spot him, Matt. So day two of the Alta shoot. The weather we knew would be rainy today. And so we decided to get some of the building shots of the architecture yesterday. And then when we woke up, one of the representatives that we're working with said, hey, why don't you guys just come in? We have a Friday morning thing with the staff. We know it's rainy and you can't get those shots. So why don't you just come in and get some coverage on that? So I love that. I feel like this is not the first time that this has happened, that a client has said, you know what, while you're in the area, while you have your team together, this popped up last minute. Let's just make the most of our time and get some extra content. So that is really fun. You just gotta roll with the elements sometimes. So I really love that yesterday we were trying to find a good place <laughs> to film around here. And somebody didn't like this rhino painting that was up on the wall. So Matt helped put this up instead, which it was a little harder than we thought it would be. <laughs> it's barely up there. It's, <laughs> it's barely up there. <laughs> but he likes it better now, so it might we might have helped to redecorate this space. <laughs> Because it, every time the sun pokes out, it has like this awesome solar flare. I just, just love it. <laughs> 